Firstly, explain just why bees are so important to us. So they're a massively important part of the ecosystem of every country, not just the UK. Um, so for example, to get apples, you need the flowers to be pollinated and that bees do that along with lots of other pollinators. So every different plant and, and um, flowers and crops, also crops, um, rely on to a large extent on bees. So a two year ban of this pesticide, how will this help bees? This is really good news um, because research has been done to show that certain pesticides, which are called neonicotinoids, um, have uh, an adverse effect on bees. So at the moment, the research shows that they are uh, behaviourally affecting the bees. So if they're not killing them outright, but evidence suggests that they are actually brain damaging them in, in ways. So, for example, they mean that they can't find their, go back to their hives effectively and they can't collect pollinators effectively. So banning these means that um, bees' health should hopefully increase. And at the moment, bees are facing a lot of threats. So this is really, really good news. Well, the evidence of how this pesticide actually affects bees hasn't been fully proven yet, has it, by scientists? And actually, a number of EU countries didn't vote in favour of this ban today, including the UK. That's right. And it's really disappointing. I'm... I think it's really sad that in this situation the EU has had to really override the British government when it comes to seeing into the future and looking at the long-term effects of, of these pesticides. Because even though the research is not conclusive, um, you know, if we wait until that research is completely conclusive, the bee population could be completely decimated. So I think this ban is needed now and then during the two years um, when these pesticides are restricted, a lot of research does need to be done, absolutely. But getting rid of pesticides, it's not good news for a lot of farmers, is it? I think we have to acknowledge that farmers have faced a particularly bad time in the last year with the uh, awful weather conditions absolutely decimating the crops, and I do think we need to absolutely acknowledge that. But there are alternatives to the traditional pesticides. So, for example, uh, ways of farming your crops, crop rotation, and also something called... Uh, trap crops, which are basically crops you plant next to the actual crop you want to grow, which pull the insects that are predating your crops away onto these kind of um, dummy crops. So there are other things you can do um, which don't involve the chemical pesticides that do harm bees. And very quickly, if the bee population does continue to decline, how serious is that for us? Well, it's incredibly serious because bees uh, are a huge have a huge influence on pollination and on crops. So even in a purely economic sense, which I know the government is, you know, really focused on at the moment, um, in the long run, if we, if we lose bees, then farmers are going to suffer. Okay, Serena Cowdy, many thanks for your thoughts this evening. Thank you.